Hello and welcome to One North Main BCA's Magazine Show, where we highlight the people, the places, and the events that make this city our city great. This entire weekend, we're at 33 Dover Street, home of the 7th Annual Downtown Brockton Arts and Music Festival, where there's food, there's fun, there's art, there's music. Let's go check out all the action. <laughs> and professionals. We're a group, we have about 200 people in our network now. We're growing since our launch in March. Uh, and our mission is to really develop opportunities to network, learn, and grow for young professionals within the area. It is not exclusive to young professionals. We want everyone to be involved in this initiative. It doesn't, regardless of age, we're looking for people to be involved on mentorship type of level, uh, sponsors. We're looking to partner with different organizations in the business community to provide these education opportunities. Uh, really create the next generation of leaders within the region, create jobs and get the momentum moving and everything going as it has. And we're really happy to be here today and partner on these initiatives. Uh, we have some workshops lined up for September and the fall. One of them is going to be a pitch workshop as well as a leadership workshop. We have a networking event that we're going to hold in mid-September as well, so stay tuned for more information on that. This is really a volunteer grassroots network right now, so your participation means a lot to us. There's more information on the front table as far as how to connect with us. Uh, and Arnie didn't mention a lot of the different initiatives, of, uh, some of the activities going on over the weekend. There's a vendor gallery, mall, everything throughout the, the building here and um, over uh, 25 bands, I believe. There's a lot going on in all the different sites between Brockton Area Transit and the library and uh, the Plu School and Enzo and Fuller Craft. There's gonna be bus transportation between all that for the weekend. So definitely come back and check out what's going on for uh, D-Band Fest for the weekend. So again, thank you to everybody. We're happy to be here. Hi everybody, I want to thank everybody for coming and uh, supporting Brockton and our neighborhood and our building. Uh, it's going to be a really good weekend. Arnie and crew has put together uh, a lot of activities, bands, art, other kinds of entertainment, good food. It's going to be a party atmosphere for the whole weekend. 
And uh, we're just really proud that a lot of people come out to support the building. And we're really ha happy to see everybody uh, spread the word, let everybody else know what's going on here in Brockton. Because there are a lot of good people and a lot of good things going on. So, again, thanks very much for coming. Enjoy tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, and Sunday. It's a whole weekend of events. And uh, have a good night. Four years ago, almost four years ago, this might have been the worst building in the city. I mean, it was really bad. When I came in here to see it a couple times, I wouldn't come in here without the police escorting me. That's how bad this building was. It was a blight on the neighborhood. There was a lot of bad stuff happening here. And I can't tell you how much it means, the investment and the risk that Steve and Howard took to make this building happen. This was done with private capital, not government money. And they took the risk. They believed in what they were trying to accomplish here. And um, I know Arnie's been looking for a great place for years, and he finally got it. And they created it. And it's, you know, this building is incredible because of what happens inside. There is a creative economy. There is a creative arts economy. And we know that an important part of revitalizing this city is the revitalization of our arts and culture. And that's what this place is all about. It's about all types of arts and expression from diverse communities. And that's what Brockton is all about today. So that's a key for the redevelopment of the city. But it's also what it's meant to this neighborhood to turn this building around and make it into the space that it is. And as Chris mentioned now, you know, they've acquired several additional parcels from the city at the next block over, and now they're expanding, and they've got a great vision for the next block of mixed-use development of commercial and residential and expanded parking for this facility so this building can thrive. And what they've done with this building and what they're doing with this neighborhood epitomizes exactly what we're trying to do with the whole city. And it's, it's bring the city back, street by street, block by block, and working in partnership with private investors and private developers, because government can't do everything. We have a role to be supportive and to invest in infrastructure and to help create safe neighborhoods. And, you know, it's up to us to bring in police presence and to replace the street lights and get the neighborhood safe and clean and well lit. But what they've done here and what this building represents and what the continued development in this neighborhood represents is really the key to the city's future. A wonderful piece. You want to hold that? Okay. Where is Arnie? Arnie, you want to come up? Yeah, yeah we got Arnie. For, 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 he'll present it. So the winner is artist Vesha Barber. Beauty of Ashes. She's still here? Yeah. Now, yeah, just so everybody knows, just so everybody knows, Serendipity is alive and well. The chamber reception, when you guys finish, I'm encouraging you to visit the entire building and see what else is going on. There's rock and roll across the parking lot, and we have a reception for the artist who is displayed on the walls. And this would be Versha Barber. <laughs> So congratulations. We're here with Howard Meiselman, the, uh, we'll call it the head of the renaissance of 33 Dover Street, the seventh annual downtown Brockton Arts and Music Festival here, the third one at this location. True. Tell us about the building. Well, the building has uh, been renovated completely inside and out. We started in January of 2015. Spent a lot of money, took a lot of time, but I think it was worth it. Um, we tried to keep a lot of the same wood floors, the same integrity of the building. And uh, from what we hear, everybody seems to like it. And uh, we're glad everybody could come and have a good time for DBAM Fest this year. 
Art's definitely one of the focuses of this building. Tell us about that aspect, why it's important, and how the upgrade, really, of this building has helped the neighborhood. Sure. Uh, the building was, uh, prior to us taking ownership, was just a blight on the neighborhood. It attracted crime and worse. <laughs> uh, so when we came in, and we just know that arts can be a very, very positive influence for a building, expand to the city, throughout every neighborhood. And uh, we've got people throughout Brockton who rent space from us that have their own little niche, some sort of art, whether it's photography, dance, music, uh, painting. There's all sorts of different businesses and artists in this building, and they really just needed a place to, uh, to be. So now there will be tours of the building upstairs in the studios, and uh, we'll get to see some of her art uh, firsthand. Look at these. These are absolutely unhinged. The detail is absolutely startling. Every blade of grass, every leaf, and the best part of these images, these are trains. And the train guys, and they're all very, very particular, they absolutely love them. And in here is John and Duquesne. John Adams and Duquesne Del Pey. And this is the room that John and I are using for marketing this weekend. Duquesne is the gentleman responsible for the spectacular artwork that's on the wall facing the parking lot. Oh, yes, the Haitian Artists' Assembly, Fuller Craft Museum. We've got a festival raffle going on. This is the work of Clevis Alfama. He is a young man from the Azores. Beautiful work. Some of it's pretty scary. This one's called The Enemy. That one's called The Hanging. When you look at that long enough, you'll realize that you're the one that's hanging. A little bit of rock and roll with the AR project in the pillars of Suite 102. And the work on the walls immediately around us is the work of Jean-Claude Santé. Miles Davis. Charles Mingus. The Beatles. The Rolling Stones. The Bee Gees, of all people, and a very sexy saxophone player. This is Mary and Greg Boyd and son and daughter. He is a well-known, the son is a well-known performer on the college circuit. I've never heard him myself. And he and Mary run a kids hip hop dance academy. They want to help kids stay out of trouble off the street, give them a place to go, place to practice, some safe place to do things. And this is, this is Kenya. And I see Herkins there in the corner. <laughs> and I see a tiny little girl beside him. I made my reputation with that little girl and her sister. I made them swords out of rolled up newspaper and duct tape. They beat each other senseless for four days. <laughs> and they loved it. Best thing, Best thing ever, absolutely. <laughs>
is the work of Melissa Cruz, and she is a young local woman. She's got three kids under six, which is just, having been through parenthood, you know, you can understand some of the madness in the art. But I love this one. It's called The Woman, and I may, I would love to find the money for that. And there you go. I, these are our inspired ladies. Hidden Stars, Michelle Marsh, author. Inspired Creations. And you guys are inspired. Look, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Hello, hello. It's great to see you. Yes, we did. We did. What do you think of our place? Isn't this amazing? And, and who knew? <laughs> and who knew? Thank you for your friends, family, and volunteers. It's wonderful to see them. It's wonderful to see them. Come on, guys. <laughs> I now travel with a film crew. <laughs> this man's name is Franz Bonjour, and I have to read it every time. He does his work with mallets and chisels in the hoods of old cars. I don't mind stealing bread from the mouths of decadent. I can't feed on the powerless when my cup's already overfilled. But it's on the table, the fire's cooking And the farming babies, the slaves are all working Blood is on the table, the mouths are all choking But I'm going hungry my theme song. This is right here. I have a tiger. <laughs> Everybody's going, Edison didn't know he was supposed to perform tonight. He said he's not. He's on the books for tomorrow. I know. I know. Good. I as long as you know and I know, we can forget everybody else. You look great. You know, I try to swag it up a little bit. Try to you guys are killing me. Every time, every time I'm, 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 I'm underdressed. It's a little bit of pink. It's a little bit of blue. And, and listen, you know, you, we're here for the band fest. That's what it's all about. You look fantastic. Listen, Stacey it's for, it, it's for the, look, it's for the building, it's for the neighborhood, friends, family, children, grandchildren. My granddaughter is here yeah. with her friend. I saw her. Other people are blasted around. There's noise and information, and it's only Friday. Absolutely. Two more days to go. Edison. Every day, brother. You can turn the light on. Well, yeah, I mean, it was so shiny in here when we got here. Yeah. Oh, thank you.
And we now sell the artwork that their students produce. And the kids are 8, 9, 10, and 11. So we now sell refrigerator art. And you can see the inspirations in the children's work reflected. It's great. Very pleased. Hey, hey, baby, I'm